So far, I think we would say I like the it. second largest live oak tree in the state of Florida. Is it going to be happy dance worthy? Yeah, it's going to be happy dance worthy. <laughs> How the girls, the boys. Mm. This has to be the most beautiful campsite that we've been on so far this trip in Florida. This morning, we're leaving a place that we love. To go to another place that we've never been before, Lake Griffin. Chicken salad chick. We could always walk the walk. <laughs> You know, you never know whenever you come to a place like this and you've never been before, what to expect. So far, I think we would say- I like it. That's it awesome. Looks really it looks good. nice. You don't have to fold it up to put it in your fifth wheel, do you? I, I can carry mine on the back. Vince and Michelle from Florida, and they, they're subscribers of ours, and it's really, really cool to see uh, people enjoying their rad bikes as much as they do. <laughs> The second largest live oak tree in the state of Florida. Hi guys, tonight on the Blackstone Griddle, we're gonna do Blackstone Spicy Asian Steak Bites. First thing we gotta do, throw a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil down on the griddle. Before we went for a hike, we sliced up some steak, and now we have it marinating in some really good stuff. What is it? Some soy sauce, some pineapple juice, garlic, sriracha sauce, and some honey and oil. And it's been in there. We'll put a little salt and pepper on it, and we're gonna throw it on the griddle. And to go with that, you can get any of your favorite vegetables. For us, we've cut up some onions and some red bell peppers, and we have some rice cooking on the induction cooktop. Let's put the onions and peppers down. Man, you gotta love that sound, don't you? Cook these until they're tender, and then we'll come back in a few minutes. Throw a little butter on top. Let that melt in with it. You know you can't go wrong if you put butter on something. Here's the steak in the marinade. Man, it smells awesome. You can smell the pineapple juice. Man, oh man. Let's put them down. This won't take long either. As we cook on the griddle, let's make sure everything is touching so they can all get a little griddle rug. Campers going by wondering what kind of good stuff we're cooking. That's one of the best things about having a black stone. Incorporate these together. Get this plated up. We have a little rice on here. We're gonna drop this Asian spicy steak bites on top of there. Here you go, guys. Take a bite. It's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really nice to be able to take Maggie for her morning walk in a place that has a nature trail. So we'll head back over to our campsite, relax a little bit, and then we're gonna head out into the Ocala National Forest to explore there today.
So we're sitting here waiting to get into the Alexander Springs recreation area. Kind of not really exactly what I thought we were going to do, but <laughs> never is. Never is. is. <laughs> so I think you have to pay to get in, but I think our national park pass is going to get us in for free. Yeah. Check it out and see, and check out this place and see what there is. Some of you are probably laughing at us, saying you knew what was going to happen, but um, our national park pass does get us into the day use area but since maggie is in the van they don't even let us in so can't leave her in the van while you go down there we found another option for possibly uh, a campground that you can back up to the water to and we're going to go at least explore there and this looks more like what we would have hoped to have found so this campground here, National Forest Campground, is um, it is dry dispersed camping. It's twenty dollars per night. With the senior pass, it would be ten dollars per night. Uh, and there are designated campsites. Okay. Yeah, you know, this is a first come, first serve. Looks so like you, there is a bathhouse here. So you like this? I do. It's beautiful. All righty, this is the kind of thing we wanted to find out. Um, I think you could probably find a place to spend the night here just about any night it looks like because like the man said it's a Saturday and there are it's maybe half full so, so this is our new friend Teresa <laughs> her solo stuff you're making tacos I'm making tacos let's I see made, what we have here I made some shrimp oh, for wow. tacos I made some chicken wow and then I made some Peppers and onions, pabana peppers, wow. with a little chipotle sauce on it and some sugar. Is it going to be happy dance worthy? Yeah, it's going to be happy dance worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. We have a uh, bunch of her female friends that get together each year like this. They call themselves the Floridian Floozies. They have a pretty good size projector outside and they're watching a movie tonight. That, uh, that's a cool way to watch TV or watch a movie right there. And they're really sweet ladies. We've really enjoyed ourselves here at Lake Griffin. Lake Griffin State Park is right on Lake Griffin. It's also sandwiched between the lake and Highway 41. So you're going to hear a little bit of road noise whenever you're at your campsite. But a benefit of that is there's lots of shopping and restaurants and things to do. And we've had two to three bars of very usable LTE service while we've been here. So if you come, we hope you enjoy it. Should you come? Well, probably if you like Florida State Parks, this is one that we'll have on our list. And if we're in this area, we'll come back because it was a good experience. This campground couldn't be any different than the last one we just left if, if they meant for it to be. It's out in the middle of nowhere at the Rodman Dam. It's a Rodman campground. And it is absolutely beautiful and pristine out here. Once again, would have been another great place for us to have had water toys. But the uh, Cross Florida Greenway is right here, which means we can get on that and we can go well, from coast to coast almost on that, which I doubt we'll do. But we're pretty excited about getting here and checking in. Glad you guys are with us. Do you like this place? Oh, no, yeah, day. You smell good? Cross it. In the middle of nowhere. It's waiting on this uh, toy hauler. In the middle of nowhere. Looking on that. That's pretty. Look at that. Water out here. What number is this? I bet we've got one of these. 59, 60. Not only are we finding campsites in Florida when it's really difficult to do, we're actually finding really good campsites. Like, 
that one. Right across one. from the there water. Here we are. Awesome. We keep Maggie on a little lead when we're at a place like this because she's likely to chase a squirrel or something. But she has her her lead as far as it'll go so she can be as close to the water as she can get. This is what's right across from our campsite. What's the closest town? Alakapuki or Apalaki or I, I don't know. Let me check here. We don't have any signal. How can you check? Palak Palatka. Palatka? Palatka. I think that's the biggest, smallest, biggest town. I think it's on the John's River, St. John, I don't know. Might be on the St. John's River. The town's on the river? Right at the river. <laughs> it's a bridge over the river, yeah. What are you doing? Are we still in Florida? I've got a tow wagon on and a coat, long pants. I'm not sure where we are. This has to be the most beautiful campsite that we've been on so far this trip in Florida. Just look at it. It's awesome. Okay, this morning, Maggie. You okay? We've gotten in the habit of not turning the heat on at night. Uh, going on and off kind of wakes us up a little, and we can stay warm. But that means waking up early in the morning on a morning when it got down to almost 30 here in Florida. Well, it's a little cool in the van. It started off in the 30s inside. Now it's up to about 45, but we're both bundled up and. 
You have your blanket on, Mackie. Do you? Warm. So it's pretty cold this morning. First one up, which today was Lynn, had to turn the heat on, and it was in the 30s. Someone said it was actually 28 here this morning when we first woke up. Uh, we've had coffee. We've had breakfast. I've edited the video that's going to come out on Sunday, and now there's a little trail here. It's not a little trail. It actually goes around 200 miles, and I doubt we walked that much today. But we're going to head out on the trail and let Maggie do her morning walk while we walk beside of the Cross Florida Canal. Pretty cool thing. And not only do we need to be aware of alligators on this trail, this is actually a corridor that black bears use to move from place to place. So we need to be a little careful. taking Maggie for two walks. We've sat outside by the water and then the sunshine and gotten warm. Now it's going to be a little cooler, but we're going to hop on the bikes and go on that same trail and see what we can find. What are we doing? I'm on a bike ride. I'm excited. <laughs> can you not tell I've got gloves on? <laughs> You're dressed Three up like we're on. in Minnesota instead of Florida. Something for my ears. <laughs> Wood wooden. <laughs> well, about five miles in, and the uh, the trail starts to disintegrate a little bit. Gets a little harder to 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 ride.
I know, we were gone a long time. We were. <laughs> so that was somewhere between 11 to 11 and a half miles of riding. Do we recommend it? Well, yeah, if you've got an e-bike, it's a, it's a heck of a lot of fun. It did bounce us around. We'll be sore tomorrow, uh, but it was a fun little trip. I think now we're going to sit down and relax for a little bit. Wait a minute, Lynn's back here waving at you. Hey, pretty lady. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> How you doing? I think I'm going to take a couple aspirins for my neck. How are the girls? The girls are okay. <laughs> <laughs> the boys? Mm. <laughs> okay. It was an interesting time, though. Um, it'd be cool if you could ride that thing all the way to the end, wouldn't it? But I don't think I'd want to. It's pretty rough. Tonight on the Blackstone Griddle, we're going to do steak crostinis, which is just really, not really a meal. It's more or less just an appetizer, but it's an appetizer that we're going to make into a meal, and we'll show you how we do it. Okay, we'll drop those. One side's seared, let's turn it over. We drop a little bit of garlic, minced garlic, on top of each one. And one little pat of butter. I put a little oil down because we're gonna cook the tomatoes now. That's about 20. Steaks are up to about 130 degrees and since we're gonna cook them a little bit more later, we're gonna take them off right now. And man, they look good. We'll slice them up into thin slices and we'll let the uh, tomatoes continue to kind of wilt a little and cook, picking up all of that juice from the steak. Mm. We're gonna to toast the baguettes now by putting a little butter down. The heat is turned down, so these should not burn, but you never know. You want to be really careful with them for sure. So now let's take these baguettes off and we'll assemble each one of these. Up the um, steak, I'm going to put some Laughing Cow uh, pepper jack cheese on the bottom of these baguettes. All right, it's time to assemble these. We cut everything up, the baguettes go down. A little steak on each one of these. How pretty is that? The steak is absolutely perfect. Put a few cherry tomatoes on each one. And next we're gonna sprinkle a little mozzarella cheese on top of it. And last but not least, Lynn likes to have a little green on everything, so we have some green scallions. We have the cheese really going now. <laughs> An appetizer is just about ready to put on here. <laughs> Let me show you your bite here. Mm, no way to do this, but just to dive in and do it. Mm. 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 Man alive, that is so good, so good, so good. Those cherry tomatoes are to die for. That's just, I know it's good, isn't it, Maggie? Mm -hmm. I think they're better than the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Good cheese. And the steak. <laughs> Second night we've heard this. Taps is coming next.
Well, that's a wrap for Rodman Campground. We hope you enjoyed this beautiful campground as much as we did. One thing we will tell you before we end this is if you need to get some work done, this might not be the campground for you. Yeah, there's no cell phone signal, but uh, there's beautiful water here. So if you have water toys, kayaks, or boats, it's a beautiful place to come. One of the top 10 places to catch big bass in Florida. Yeah, and bike riding has been awesome. So we've enjoyed it. If you're in the area, we hope, we think you should probably stop in. It's usually a campground that getting at least a spot seems to be pretty easy to do. Speaking of getting a spot, do we know where we're headed next? We don't, but we hope you'll follow along so you'll get to see. Until we see you again next week. Happy tales. Out in the bayou. Uh-huh.